That, that's why we're having these things, because we're not having a strong male figure anymore. I mean, I have to I I I I connect with your bloodline. You know, our genes, our cells, for me, for left an impact on you. You can't Absolutely. left Benz only and left impact, you know. Bob Marley, you can't left Benz. Bob Marley by the first beam and the people run through it. But yes. Bob Marley legacy bigger than everybody legacy. You, you know, you know, I wanna I wanna interject. First, I wanna thank you, Mr. G, for jumping on and yeah. please uh, please accept my apology for going to Mr. Octane. Who? <laughs> so G, please, I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I, yeah. I do wanna thank you. So um can you just share with us some of the, the, the stuff you've done just for the few Americans that will see this on the rebroadcast on, on my live that follow me? And then of course I, I wanna hear you your thoughts on what Mr. Octane is saying about the burden, the responsibility that's placed on you superstars to, to leave a legacy beyond material things. Yeah. Um, well, good night to everyone on the live. Bye, you me more. Respect the invite me. You know, we never really planned feet. <laughs> you know, we never really planned feet. Alicia, big up. Yes. You know, I just chipped in on the live and just was looking and listening, you know. Um, for those who don't know, Mr. G, you know, is Mr. G, a.k.a. Goofy. It was originally Goofy. We came with songs like Here Comes Fudgy, um, Big Man Little Youth with Myself and Red Rat, Brush Your Teeth from Morning. I Buff know beer. you! Buff beer. I don't give a damn. na 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 Swaggerific, we so swaggerific. Beat them, but you know, the list too long. We're good. I'll take yes, up the whole no, night, you know. I know who you are, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Really happy yeah. to meet you, especially on the day that I'm doing my book, Success is Subject. I was doing my book signing earlier. This is like the after show. So, this is like a gift to me from Mr. Octane. So, I'm really happy to meet you. Yeah, well, um, so, yeah, so thank you. So, let me ask you. What are your thoughts on that about legacy? Because, you know, we're in a time where black and brown, you know, people are being chastised, right? We're living, it, it's as if we're living back in the 1920s. As I said, we still drive fancy cars and we have digital, you know, media um, with what's happening. And I remember um, Mr. Um, Al Sharpton one time, Reverend Al Sharpton gave us gave a, a, a sermon at a church I attended. And he says, you know, you have so many people that are rich and you're speaking specific, specifically about black superstars you know they make a lot of money in life and they do nothing for anyone else outside of their immediate family and he may, you know he may mention that they'll die and someone will call for him to eulogize them and he's like what am i really gonna say they were great at buying fancy cars and you, you, you get what i'm saying in big houses and he's like when you die as soon as you die somebody is in your house or driving your car so as Mr. Octane was talking about leaving a legacy, whether it is the drink, you know, or, or whatever it is that he's doing and he's sharing with people his journey, right, which he does all the time, as you know. He's there shoveling cement saying, I'm building a house. You need to build a house mm -hmm. too. What is your take on legacy as a superstar? How do you handle that whole thing? Well, first and foremost, um, you know, Octane came – through my stables, you know, as a young artist, I unpicked yes. him. I unpicked him from very early. From them time, them was just a, a ballad, never yes. after or anything, yes. you know. In fact, the first time I told Actin that him have to turn a rasta, he <laughs> burned me out. He burned me out. <laughs> and I said, listen, I said, you yeah, yeah, sing too much deep song to remain as a ballad. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And he never, he never want to rest at the time. But this is me and my take on life. I believe in helping not True. only artists, but people on a whole. Yes. You know? Because when you help others to stand on a solid foundation, then it will in turn help others. By you helping each individual, it will turn out helping others, hundreds and thousands of other persons. Yes. Like, like, all right. I was there. A lot of artists came, came, came under my wings as an artist coming up. 
You know me I say Octane yeah. uh, when Octane was there, I do when he was there. You know, people like um, Merciless, Mr. Vegas, TOK, Chico, Madanjo, you know me I say in recent times, Cargo, um, Dexter Dup, Version. You know me I say it's a long list. Octane can tell you, but here what? Octane from ever since coming up saw that me as an established artist first thing he knew me as a man who owned quite a few properties right you know me i say um when he came to princeville plaza and i met him you know me i say him come see me with my own studio and thing so all these everything. things own everything you know me i say so all these things inspired him as a young artist coming and being inspired, but he wanted to attain from early. And, and I always tell people, Actin was not a normal youth from morning because Actin was the only one that was around me that lived in Clarendon. And for at least two years straight, every night me I drop Actin, a half a tree and give him a thousand dollar to take him bus to go Clarendon. And Actin would have been the first artist. At this. He would be the first artist ever every morning back at the studio and, yes. I, and, I used to, and I used to say to the rest of young artists I said you see the drive we're asking of lost in talent him and I do on here I go jump out before the rest of people some sure. of them feel bad but it's reality and see it so said so done, so done. you know yeah. what I said so said so yeah. done so you see I, I tell every artist try to give a foundation I believe in generational wealth Yes. So we are going to accomplish generational wealth yes. when you set a solid foundation so that people can come and inherit upon what you've built and try to yes. further what you've done. And this is what I, I would definitely use Bob Marley as a prime example, saying that this man has created a legacy that when his children die, their children yes. is going to come and inherit, their mm -hmm. grandchildren is going to come in and in everything and everything. One of the legends that, that just a call me to you know, I, I hope him not feeling away. Me have to kind of boss the call. I sing a melody that I sing a melody that I sing a melody that I have to apologize. The singer must have supposed to wonder what's happening. <laughs> tell him you're, tell him you're dropping knowledge. Tell him you're dropping knowledge. You're dropping knowledge for the creatives. Mm -hmm. so, but I, I mean, you see, as artists and especially as Jamaican artists, because I can't speak for a, a foreign artist, but we as Jamaican artists, we need to set a precedent whereby only God Himself can root up. Yes. Sure. And and all right, you see, like I was I was telling somebody yesterday on in an interview that when I was coming up and me and Red Rat we were traveling like the hardest. You know what I say? But at all of the artists in Jamaica, me and Red Rat, we used to have like three, four shows per week for years. And what I was telling somebody that I imported a car when I just break. I yeah. imported a Mark II. And when I, I brought that into Jamaica, it was at Crichton Motors. And when I went to collect the car the day, there was a man that sent me car and love off the car. And when yeah. he love off the car, he must say, yo, I forget the car, I forget it. And Crichton said, it's somebody car. The man said, me no business, me spend anything. And me just go to the Crichton. <laughs> yes, him. So, the man said, anything, so Crichton said, give me one point here. Yeah. And yeah, and here the man one point here, chump chain, going and care for your bag of money, and come out and pay the one point here. Now when I bought the car from China and land it in Jamaica and clear it, everything was one point two. Nice. So me just still try to say selling it. So when him done sell, cause the man don't know say I might care up to know in Right, right, right. Me and right. yeah, my cousin stand up one side, and me just I get right in the slime them. I think so. When the man drive out now, they just get crying 200 pounds of himself. Yes. And I saw a Toyota Camry on the lot. 
and I bought that Toyota Camry for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And then you make her like a bandit. We get back one million fifty thousand. Yes. In my pocket. Yes. Plus a car. Plus a car. Plus a car. Yes. And, and guess what I did? Crichton said, yo, you know I'll buy some rims? I said, no. I don't have to do that enough to do that. So I buy some upcap and put it on. When me buy the upcap them, the man named me at the business and laugh at me and say, ooh, he buy upcap and re, re, re. I said, yeah, man, go on in there. You know what I did? I bought my first apartment in Narbrook Green. You did? And then, yeah, and then I buy my first piece of land up a golden acre. And I was the one who inspired Vegas to buy his piece of land up by lease flat and start building because he saw nice. what I was doing. Nice. You know? So yeah. it is good to lead by example. And you inspire me too, Mr. J, because remember, you know, when we come from country, you know. Mr. J, you know. Me, me always have a drive. When me are fall from country and reach, yeah. Spanish town is the baddest place. Right? Yeah. I go to half till me there Spanish town at night time when Mr. G dropped me off. Yeah. And the gangster them love me off and say, yo, they are you, they are how are you? Me have a DJ for them at night time and put me on bus because me have one frame of mind say, if you have a dead by a car, bus can kill you. Can't kill you, right? So, when I forward, you have other artists who I look up to like, yo, them artists are my artists. Even more than Mr. G before me meet him. Yes. When, when I really check the fact now, them are pay rent. Them have the dearest yeah. car pay rent. Mr. G own him one place, Mr. G get cut off. Yes. You can add him back. I'm, I'm listening. Mr. G own him one place, places. Mr. G own him one studio. Mr. G produce for himself. Mr. G, I do everything. So that inspire me like, yo, sometimes the facade, when you see that, you can't get too caught up in the facade, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what my allies are telling you with them, say, yeah, Mr. G, forward. That's why you can't get caught up because Mr. G own him one place. So I rate the artist, yeah, because I'm a, I'm a run the place and rate, but Mr. G own him one place. I rate the Sanya for the artist and I'm a run the place and Mr. G produce it. And Mr. G produced the song them with, with me loving you know? her. And the artist appearing, he own him one studio, he own him apartment, he own him big house, he own him thing them. So me I said, no, sir. <laughs> this a man and a black man mentality. This a man have Chinese people mentality. Chinese people come <laughs> to buy one building. You need, to, like, you need to not sound like our former president. But yes, he's no, a business mind. Black, black people need to <laughs> we'll stop because Chinese people and get inspired by them. <laughs> We have too much pride. Ten of them going to the house, the room, yeah? and ten months, them have ten places and them end up on the world. Yeah, that is true. It's a cultural okay, thing. Okay. That is what Mr. Mr. Chief do. So you know what we start doing now? Me you know, me just make sure we make a money, buy a little apartment, me buy a house, me do my thing, me do all of my thing them. See, me, me buy one on the van and me drive it for about seven years straight. Every man I say, acting, you can't, you can't buy a new vehicle. You can't do that. You can't do that. I'm, and one of the time they make peer pressure catch me, I go buy one bima and the bima steer me out and lock up and wrap them down. And of course. Out, because I'm not there in Jamaica for drive it. And I say, you, you're stupid enough. After you hold it, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Yeah. And hold it. Yeah. I make peer pressure catch you. So I decide, say, me? No, I make sure so I set my thing them come. I say, G, they are you there. And if Mr. G responds with me, I do now. Yeah. All of them people, them call. I'm boss. I'm merciless. Everybody. Plus, I'm produce. All of the song them. Me there at the studio when Mr. G a produce. And Mr. G are the first man. And Mr. G invent that. Are the first man go back in a prison. Go vice Jack Cure. Say, wow. where you know where you're there from? Where you? Wonder where you must have been. Me tell it. Um, the guitar. Oh, I love you. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of them. I'm at the first. Pro go. All of them think that the, git, the, the string guitar, where well, um, murder, Chuck Friend, all of them think that. All yes. of them do something. Be them and do something, kill everybody. Me sit down and watch Mr. G produce them. And him not really get the, the glory we're supposed to get because of mankind's there. 
So we never do it train kids them like what Bob Marley them do. Alright? But we know, and it's that me me different from the rest of them. Some man really will go up on the platform and say it, but always I say it. Me always I talk, me always I say it. Because me know. See, and at the time when Mr. G I do it, he never have to do it. Because we was the least of the apostles. We love I don't wanna know, he was the least of the apostles. Right. Love Acti, you know, we was the least of the apostles. We wasn't the big artist and we are going to the studio. Right. We are vice every day. See? Mm -hmm. But him could have taken the time out and still vice with. When the big artists them come as studio, them have to wait till we done vice so them can oh. hear we. Them hear we too. And so then, so, okay, so then let me interject for a second. So as I'm hearing you say about Mr. G while he's alive, the roses, is that he not only gave you an opportunity because i want people that are listening to this live and listening to the broadcast mm -hmm. to really take away the nuggets in real time so basically what he he didn't only give you an opportunity to work on your craft he also ensured that the other known artists gave you the respect for you to complete it when you're in a studio because and I think that's very important to know because i think in in the rap world and the dance hall world you tend to hear mostly of the negative things that happen in in the studio you know mm -hmm. um and very rarely do we hear what you're actually telling us now um yeah, so back, then, back then you have a studio you know and when the bigger your voice and a big artist come you have to stop voice because remember you're on free time that big artist done voice i'm going on here in my ear but you know it's actually mm -hmm. studio you wait them wait and hear you good. so them kind of a perspective of you so when them go roll, they must say, you know, you can't name of a boss. Because he hear you. You understand? Right. Yes. So let me I'm ask the... you. Let me ask you this, Mr. G. Yeah. Were you always like that? Were you always like the giver growing up? Or, well, or is Mr. G is an artist. You know, moment, Mr. Uh, G is an artist. Mr. G is a humanitarian. I saw him stay. Okay. That's what I want to, like, that's what I want to know. Like, you know, he just, he just sing, kind of enough and love. Sing, sing, sing. He is a human. <laughs> He loves singing, singing, singing. Yeah, he's an entrepreneur <laughs> and he's a real estate and he's a humanitarian. He helps more than him, help more than how him will do music for himself. Well, 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 I hope, I hope the people in the entertainment community, they should ever see the broadcast, use this as an opportunity to really find our people, our Jamaican artists, our Caribbean artists, but specifically the Jamaican artists, Jamaican producers, Jamaican executives, basically that entire creative world, and start having our own version of a Grammy, if you will. Because Mr. if Mr. Mr. Ote did come on tonight, Mr. I would, even, I would even put two and two together that Mr. G is goofy. And clearly, I know of the songs with Red Rat, Right? I'm growing up. I'm in the 90s. Who didn't know it? We, I go to Canada, to Carabana. Who didn't know it? Um, so I think it's about time we start celebrating. I'm probably having more stories like these. So I hope someone, Jamaica Observer, whatever the TV station is in Jamaica, pick this up and start having conversations, 30 right. minute specials on. No, and no, I want to put it out there, Mr. Octane, because yeah, no, if, if you didn't share this, this behind the scenes. And, mm -hmm. and that's all I'm about to say. I want change. I think tradition in my me. poem, you see it in says my God. floor, because I do spoken word like dub poetry. Forget that I'm a lawyer, right? I like the dub poetry thing. And in it, I talk about tradition. And I said, their tradition is just that theirs. Your mind sets your tradition, imagination, their greatest fear. And the reason why I wrote that, it's for a moment like this. Certain tradition we keep and certain we have to challenge. Mm. We have to ask why because times have changed. And the collectives, the, 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 the collective creatives have to come together and start doing these features, not even on IG. I'm talking get a special, wrap it up, put it together, get it on Netflix. Because Ms. we need to know need that. Means that you need to write a book. But you all of you, all of you, and I inspire, yeah. I, I encourage him to do that yeah. because they're, the story I'm hearing right now, mm -hmm. we don't get to hear it, Mr. Octane. I'm, I'm not asking, I'm telling you. We don't hear it. We, we see well, the artists, well, me they there, make money. There, I mean, I tell us, Mr. G, the belly of music. All right, hold on, hold on. Mr. G wanted to say something, go ahead. Vibes card, hold on. Vibes card, tell us all about you, Tina. But Mr. G, help more. But me, me help Vibes cartel. Yes, you understand? Help harness Vibes cartel career. 
All right, uh, media, hold on. Uh, media, uh, wait, 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 Mr. Auntie. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Media see if you with, with Miss G. And me yeah. call on Miss G. And Miss G is the acting, hold on. In a Miss Set. Can you know any stage you can go me upon the place? Absolutely. And me call on Miss G. And Miss G say, hold on, acting. Remember, I call him on for the one song, you know. Yeah. And in the first place, I miss a take one more. And he said, hold on, before me take one more. Are you with any Dexter Dabs? I don't know him. Yes. Yes. And he gave Dexter Dabs as up. And Dexter yes. come see. He could have jello, he could have, he could have not share it. I tell him no. And he could have not share it. And he share it, I never know him. He's seeing the crowd, where the crowd work with him, where he's still much of a place and he had me in a Saji Rare and we go away. And then Dexter Dabs is there. I saw him still. Let me say a thing. One of, um, I would say, one of my most feel-good moments in music is when somebody that I look up to as a legend called me on my phone and was thanking me from the depths I heart. Shabaram. Oh, wow. When I went to see you, Remember years after Scared and Crew and Bounty Killer, see if you don't get a star. Yes. And when I went to see if you, and I, 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 I went, because I saw Dexter Dub on the internet, and I heard a song and I love, and then my partner in crime, Big A from IRFM, said, yo, that little you I'm bad enough. And Rhea, I said, you know, I only need a production. And I went for Dexter Dub. The November, the ending of November 2014. Yes. And, and when I pull up on Dexter Dabs, don't I see you? The man, them, they get like timid, like they want to run because we, we pull on in a, a Toyota car <laughs> and it's tinted, you know? <laughs> so I like expected the, man, the them, thing to come. The man, yes. The man, them get bummy, so I said, no, man. I me, mean, I'm a pull on the window and thing. And I must say, Mr. G, we are the dung in a CV. I must say, I come and see you before you go to Alban, man. I say, how you want to come by now? I say, your time come from the clock. He say, what do you mean? I say, your time come from the clock for boss. But you see me up here, and I'm not joking. And listen, two weeks' time, next yes. time had 7-Eleven. When my Virgin Triton produced 7-Eleven, you know, but I made up to Dexter. When Dexter seen the first, when he find the first two lines for 7-Eleven, he said, your boss on this. True. Mm. You understand? And then yes. Mr. Triton, and Mr. Triton, and me come for Dexter, but him boss half a year already. Oh! Anyway, fast forward, Dexter boss, black man rise up, and thing. The first man come to me, Bounty killer come to me and say, Gee, you know more time me and you have a little differences because the two away are June man and he know say me is a leader, him is a leader, so he can't try to lead the general and him a general too. You know me I say? So yes. we have a little things more time, but the two away respect for one another. Right. Understand? So him come to me and say, Boy G, give thanks to no man because me alone can't do it, you know. And sure. the gift and say you rise up the community back. When a man carry the phone, come give me one day and say, yo, the emperor is on the phone. Suppose you hear Shaba. Only thing mm. left in the door, eye water, come out and I so Shaba express love and appreciation, you know. And listen, nice. Shaba, Shaba, is, Shaba is one of the artists that we look up to highly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, Vibes Cartel, when I help to groom Vibes Cartel, Cartel always tell me, G, anytime I learn to sing punchline as good as you, the whole place has a week. Mm. And may I show him the formula and show him some things where to do. Cartel, when Cartel come break properly, Actin can tell you, because Actin, they are my student, and Cartel used to come there too. A Cartel, me yeah. said to Cartel, pick up Idonia. And carry him out in the streets for me. Sure. And so that's true. Him, so litify him as an artist. Because when they yes. say the body's lyricist, they are the yes. lyricist, yeah. Yeah. You get what I mean, say? Yeah. So, so let me show you a thing. You see, if acting, acting right this up on the live. 
The song will bust I have to in the real and proper way. And me bust it in Me go up on the go up on the sound and select that and tear down the place. Wow. I must say, no, I mean, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We are running, we are running underground, you know. I feel like yeah. me bust you know. Yeah. I have two songs. I'm going to promote the next song. Yeah. And this is my link me. I say, yo. You know, I promote your boss song, you know. I oh, tell wow. you, so you know, lack of knowledge. Because I don't know, run the whole ground and I'm going to go to my place. I say, you have two songs from the underground. Stop I have two songs from the underground. And the man took up loads of friends. Hey, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, man. Yeah, when, when, me hear, when me hear loads of friends, Loser friend is nice. In play to me, in play loser friend to me, I'm say, yeah. this is your boss song. And I'm say, no, stop vampire with the peck and the song and bring. I say, listen to me. Loser friend and the song, but me not in no more talking. Watch the style. I don't remember who died at the time. It's either mm. Willie Agar or somebody. Somebody. somebody, somebody some somebody famous dead. person died. Yeah, yeah. We're a powerful person is dead for you. A way is dead. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there you said have a thing named Passion Sundays. And my go Passion Sundays the night. And I say yeah. every selector are clear. Dead song and everything. Me just run going on my car. Me the CD. We are the and gimme. And I just said to the selector, put in a song here. And I listen to it and cue it up. And I say, give me a talk for the man. And when we make some speech, the speech them alone at here down the place. So when we drop a theme song, around so the time, friend. yes, it pull up. You see when we pull it up, and it, it a tear down the place. Now every selector want to come run a battery on the song because <laughs> everyone have something in the world to say. The next day, the next day, I'm not even me call Athen and tell him same boss. A <laughs> people are calling. A wow. Wow. Yes, Mr. G is a man in a big way. Dala. Yeah. He's a man in a big way. And he's a man that asks. And he's a man that talks about it. That's what I tell you. It, 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 it. And you, that's what I tell you. So how you guys plan to preserve your legacy? Other than this IG video, which I will have and try to save off of the IG. You, you, have to, you have to get into film, guys. You have to watch what's going on in America, and you literally have to get your information on film. You just do. Yeah, you have to know, get interviewed. You have to line it up. We have to document it. Come on, she young again, and I'm lose weight. You know what I can? Ah! Oh, he has. He has some of your slim ass drink. You know, we don't, we don't give it yet. We don't give it yet. No, no, no. Okay. Well, listen. Within the last two and a half weeks, we lose around eighteen to twenty pounds, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. We have a yeah. thing we call um, Master Clean. Okay, I ask, yes. I don't ask a thing where he uses it, you know, because me figure more or less that the Master Clean is the pan too, you know. No, 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 it's not work out alone, but I find a formula. So you can't it. tell him the secret, Mr. G. No, you have to buy it. You, know, you, see the, you see the secret with me, well, the formula with me up. Mr. Sebe calls, listen, we start training like a month and other go. But yeah. Yeah, the trainer, the trainer cut up. But in the way, like 265 pounds. I'm yeah. see the man go up on a 21 day thing with the master cleanse. I'm see the man go and shrink. Yes, sir. What? No, sir. Is it is it the regular master cleanse that's online, or you guys have like a no, Jamaican twist to it? The same master cleanse. They just have discipline. The cayenne pepper, the maple what? syrup, and the and the, and the lemon juice. That's all right. That's all right. I'm vegetarian, but that's all right. I stop right at right the cayenne pepper. Tell, I want to tell you, say it tastes good, you know. It tastes good, uh, you Drinking are, cayenne pepper. Good. Yes, man. You know, you see the same, the same view where you have, and the same view me they have in our man. Because I know about it long time, you know. Yes. When Queen, when Queen Africa, they have our last child. Queen yeah. Africa, they, they put on some weight and they must be back Queen for around three weeks. And then Queen yeah. Mara thought, Mr. Queen, <laughs> Mr. Queen, I get one of the injections, and then we have to end the game. <laughs> <laughs> 
Auntie and get a bad injection one time and Marga down. Yeah, we nearly dead now. That's amazing. Yeah, we nearly dead now. Real talk. Real talk, Mr. Auntie. We have been in the hospital for about 21 years. Yo, God.